Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. I'm going to read verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rule of the darkness of this world, against spiritual weakness in high places. And they be seated in the presence of the Lord. I want to bring your, your attention to uh, some of the things I said the last time I was here. I'm just going to run some scriptures by you because verse 10 says, Be strong in the Lord. Amen. And I'm going to run some scriptures by you that you, if I say it too fast, you can get, get the results later on. But uh, you got to realize that ain't no strength in man, it ain't none in you. You, your physical strength cannot fight the battle. The subject that I'm teaching from is the warfare of the Christian soldier. And your strength cannot battle Satan. You, 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 so we want to run some scripture by you that the law said, and told Paul in 7 Corinthians 12 and verse 9, and when Paul asked him to move that thorn in the flesh, he said, my, my, he said uh, my grace is sufficient for thee, and my strength is made perfect in weakness. And, and he said it in Psalm 27 and verse 1, he said, the summer said, that the Lord is not my life, my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life, whom shall I be afraid? He said in Psalm number 46 and verse 1, the Lord is our refuge and strength, a very present help in time of trouble. Uh, he said in Philippians 4 and verse 13, I can do all things through Christ Jesus, who strengthens me. In the first part of Nehemiah chapter 8, verse 10, it says, then verse it says, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Amen. Amen. In Colossians chapter 2 and verse 9 and 10, it says, in him lies all the fullness of the Godhead in the bodily, and you are complete in him. Amen. So I want you to look at verse 11. Amen. And I get excited as I read because Lord he revealed back to me through his word. It says that hmm, help me hold it up. He said, put on the whole arm of God that you may be able to stand against the wild of the devil. Now, the Lord showed me something that he said, the whole arm. And if you leave and a piece of what God said all, you are exposed to the enemy. You understand? So he said, put on the whole armor of God. And but you can read those if the, I get to them soon, soon on down the road. But he let us know that that you got the enemy. And don't believe that stuff about that little that little thing that people draw red and roll those things with two horns sticking up in a part of tail and all that kind of stuff. That speaks, that stuff ain't real. That ain't going to say Satan is a spirit, and he knows how to embody himself in the psyche. And I said, psyche, I'm talking about your mind. He knows how to embody himself in people's mind. He knows how to embody himself in a snake and make a snake talk. Amen. The snake that spoke to Eve, that was Satan, he embodied himself in that serpent. If y'all believe in ventriloquism, that thing that can throw their voice and make it come from old man, you stand here, you better believe that Satan can get in people. Amen. And he not only can, he is in people. Amen. 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 And they're performing, and they think they're performing for the Lord, but you're not. That means God cannot be deceived. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7. God cannot be deceived. And listen. God knows, and, and God cannot be mocked. So this is a warfare, and the day that you step in the Christ, you step in a wall zone. You understand me? Because, because this is war. That's why Paul said in, in, in the three chapter, I mean, excuse me, some verses, chapter six, verse twelve, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life for which thou call. And he said in, 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 in 2 Timothy 4, verse 7 and 8, he said, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. And I and therefore laid on me a time of righteousness. What I'm saying, I said, if you don't have the armor on, you're going to lose. And I said, let me say this to, I said this to the church. And like I 
like I said, I don't know how many more years I got here, or days I got here. And let me take, I'm gonna say years, years. Because uh, James chapter 4 and verse 14 says, What is your life? It is that vapor that appear and disappear. But while I'm here, when I go off the scene, I want to know that I told the truth. And half a living just ain't gonna work with God. And that's not my people hiding out of straddle of fence. Ain't no straight thing to straddle of fence. You're either on that side or you're on this side. If you were straddle of fence, you couldn't walk anyway. So you're either living for Jesus or will not. So Paul said, if somebody, listen, somebody don't even have the armor on. Let me say it again. Some of us ain't even got it on. It's still laying right there before us in the word, minister. And somebody don't even want to even pick it up and put it on. Because if you don't pick up this word, the other rest of the arm is still laying right there. If you don't get it out of here and apply it to your life, it ain't you going to make it. Oh, go grip the Holy Ghost. So then, that enemy is, is, is safe. And when he said that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. You know what it's saying, that word wild means? It means deceit, crafty, trickery, method. Uh, it means the strategist of the devil. Uh -huh. Now, what do you mean by that, are you? There are strategies that appear to your eyes, this, uh, the lust of the eye. That could be food. I remember one day I was going to the town because I'm a diabetic, okay? And food came into my mind. Milkshake. And I'm going to get my medicine, they're saying trying to make me eat a milk, get a milkshake. I wanted it. But then, if I had not been fully clothed, I'd have stopped at the devil queen and got one. But because I was fully clothed, I was able to defeat my flesh. You don't hear me with the word of God. Otherwise, my flesh wanted it, but my spirit overpowered my flesh. Because see, no saying that knew that would make my, my blood sugar go sky high. Ah. Help me, Holy Ghost. Therefore, not only that, but Satan will bring a few loved women. He'll bring some attractive person across your life. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Well, if you don't know that, if that ain't good enough, this is half-dressed season. Right. Let me say that again. This is half-dressed season. Right. Now you see women half-naked walking around with shorts on, half-naked, the top part of their bosom and loafers. This is it. And if you are weak, say it will run up and from what I'm talking about. Men likewise. Right. Young men, young women, we think it's cool to run around showing their drawers. That ain't, listen, you ain't dressed and you put the arm of God on, you don't want nobody to see your naked parts. Right. Right. I'm preaching, brother, y'all. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. But it's time for us to quit messing around with the church. Otherwise, don't bring the mess before God and thank God is going to accept it because he's not going to accept it. Yeah. Ooh, glory to God. But you ain't dressed. And let me show you something how tricky Satan is. I can quote it, but I'm going to turn to Genesis chapter 2. And I want to, I want to say, you know, you ain't here when you come in this church building. You ain't to follow me. Right. Turn your Bible to Genesis chapter 2. I want to show you how tricky to say that is. In verse 15, Genesis 2 and verse 15. It said, are we there? Read it. And the, God, and the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden, dressed it to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the God thou may freely eat, but the tree of knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat it, for in the day that you eat it, thou art, thou shalt surely die. Notice what I said. He said, the day that you eat it, thou art, you shall surely die. But now, I want you to look, look, look over to chapter 3. I want to show you how tricky Satan is. It says, not 3 and 1, it said, Now the serpent was more subtle than any 
beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, God says, Ye shall not eat the, the tree thereof in the garden. The woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, You should not eat it, and neither shall not touch it. God never said, not, Thou shalt not touch it. So Satan appealed to. Listen, you know that's my people. I tell people when 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 took bread and said, The Lord told me that if it ain't in the world, I don't believe it. God never said, Thou shalt not touch it. So Satan, that was the point of attack right there. Satan appealed to her on what she said. Okay, I ain't gonna say thank nobody down catching a tree. That's how Satan got so many people food. We run our mouth saying what the Lord said and God ain't said it. That's why Satan wants you. Satan knows what this Bible says. Don't let nobody tell you Satan don't know this Bible because he does. But also, he knows what God didn't say. That's right. That's right. So, this is when Satan tricked and he let us, he got people thinking that sin is all right, but it ain't all right. He got people thinking that you got plenty of time. Wrong, you don't have time. He got people thinking that all I got to do is preach. Oh, no, I'm going to get to that. All I got to do is preach. And on Sunday and then I say I can do what I want to. All I got to do is sing on Sunday I can do what I want to. That's what Satan is saying. But listen, you can sing while you sing. Y'all right. hear what I said? I said you can sing while you sing. The children of Israel did it, didn't it? For most of them talking to God, and they were down there singing, they were singing while they sinned. And so many people are singing while they're sinning, they're preaching while they're sinning. Thank God, don't know it, but it's just a matter of time. Listen, if I can't do what this Bible says, y'all see me sitting down, that's what I've been told y'all I quit. I'd rather go to heaven than go to hell than to be preaching one thing and living another. Amen. Amen. And that's for all of us. If you ain't gonna live it, you may as well sit down. Amen. Because it ain't getting nowhere. Amen. And Paul said, if you ain't fully dressed, you are in trouble today. Amen. Amen. You're in trouble if you're not fully dressed. I'm talking about the whole world about this. It ain't no use putting this armor on until you Dress up on your inside. inside. Amen. Oh, glory to God. So Sam, he he this is what he does. He 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 appeals to something that you like. I expose bodies. He knows how to expose tell you that smoking crack and and, 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 and marijuana. The law said that's legal. God didn't say it was legal, the law said it. They think that's all right to smoke some marijuana. It's healthy for you. No, it ain't. Otherwise, your body, this is what I'm saying, your self, first Corinthians 3 and verse 16. Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, and God will not dwell in no unclean body. And so then you smoke it, then rule God out. Because God don't live there. Because if God lives there, you ain't gonna put that kind of stuff in there in God's temple. I'm preaching. He, he, he knew that I had a word. That's why he said, Cat, the last said, in the sleep, I felt good when I went to sleep. But when I got up, I couldn't stand up. He knew that God had a word. He tried to keep me from delivery. Yeah. But he should have had me down because I'm up. Yeah. Amen. I'm still here. And he proved, God proved that you can't take me out unless God take me out. You can't take me out. You may have taken my body, but there was a soul in here that came out by the church of Jesus. How shall that both say, can't both say. Hallelujah. God, Paul said that, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Amen. And like I said, this is naked time. Now they it's the rest of sickness to look at God's people, the way they're dressing nowadays, in representing the body of Christ. I'm talking about the clothes, and I'm talking about how we dress up our lives. I'm talking about both of them. How we dress up our lives. How we say we represent Jesus 
and we want unrest if you ain't in. Oh, definitely, Holy Ghost, say this right. Because number one, I got somebody, somebody making a start. But you won't come to Bible study. You won't come to Sunday school. And you come in when stands in. Sometimes I see the whole church standing out down the hall while we're in Sunday school. In the morning at 7 o'clock, if you're supposed to be at work at 7 o'clock, we'll leave and get there half an hour before time because I don't want to be late because I don't want to lose my job. I don't want to lose that money. But God got something for y'all that are more precious than that job, the money that you make. God said, I got life. Money can't buy your life. How can you do that to me when I died on the cross I got spit on. Yeah. I got spit in the side. I got nails in my hand. Yeah. I did it all for y'all. If this is how you pay me. Yeah. It ought not be that way, saints. Yeah. It ought to be just as many people that Bible said in Sunday school and it is in service. Yeah. Well, I just can't get up. I didn't over. If when I get there, I'll be there. I asked, I asked one lady once, I said, do you want to do anything in the church? No, Pastor, I do good just to make it that. But they make it to work. Amen. But, but it, you, you can't address this. Listen, when we don't worship, we don't come and, and, and partake of this word, you put the cheat on your soul. That's how it comes so many of us a week. Let me say it again. I said, that's how come so many Christians a week. Other words, they'll fall for anything because they ain't got nothing in them to keep them from falling. Other words, you listen, I got knowledge. I went to school all the I went to school, but knowledge ain't going to keep you. Amen. Let me say it again because some people say because I got a lot of knowledge. Knowledge is useless without the wisdom. Right. And you ain't going to get no wisdom by going to school. If any man likes wisdom, let him ask God who gives liberty and upgrade enough in James chapter 1, verse 5 and 6. Let him ask God. So many people, they're just not dressed and they don't care. Listen. So Satan, if you like clothes, I give you the best. Won't he do it? In other words, if you like calm, I see that, that you get something that you'll worship just like you do with God. If you like houses, I give you a mansion. Whatever you need, I give it to you. If you fall down and worship me, guess what Satan told Jesus? He took what's on the high mountain Matthew chapter 4 and verse 10 and 11. He said, all of these things I give you if you will fall down and worship me. Listen, saying that where I am, saying that can't give me something that I already have. You hear me? Because the earth of the Lord and the fullness that are on there as well, that means Psalm 24 and verse 1. So everything, if I if I'm in Jesus, everything that he has is mine. Amen. But people are fooled by saying it. Like they're being fooled now. I want you to turn your Bible somewhere. No, not, not right now because I ain't ready to leave where I'm at right now. But I, I, I moved down a minute. But I tell you, I'm trying to get the saints to realize that in these last times, Satan is out to destroy everybody he can. He knows he's going down. And he's going to take as many as he can down with him. John chapter 10 and verse 10. Jesus said, I, the enemy, came to kill and to destroy. But I come that they may have life and they may have it more abundantly. Listen, you can't sweep sin under the rug and think it's going to go away. Amen. Let me share something with you. Just in case you think nobody don't see you. We don't see you, whoever you or he, you or he or she is, but God do. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 13. You know what it said? Every creature lies bare before God. God said, I see you, and so you may well do what you're going to do in the daytime because dark, there ain't no use waiting on the dark because I see you, and there ain't no dark with me. Yeah. If you are not dressed up, then you're exposed to all kind of sin. Mm -hmm. Listen, as young people, you're exposed to AIDS, you're exposed to gonorrhea, you're exposed to hurt, you're exposed to all of that kind of stuff. I, I, I know that you ain't going to hear what I'm saying in some churches because they were worried about winning people to them. 
I ain't worried about winning people to me. I can't help you anyway. But I'm trying to show you somebody that can help you. Amen. Some people think they just got to have, listen, some people think they just got to have men. They just got to have my man. They got to have drink. They got to have marijuana. Got to have cigarettes. All this stuff. That's saying, God, you ain't got to have that. God said this. I will supply all of your needs. And I, I can promise you, if you give the word to God, some of the things that we're doing, you don't want to do them no more. Amen. 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 Y'all remember, that was some of the things I used to do. I don't do it no more. Amen. Amen. You can't say that if you ain't living for Jesus. You'll do it some more. Huh. Been there, I've done that. That's right. I drank, you name it, I did it. I say, I'm going to quit tomorrow. I might not do it tomorrow, but the next day I'm right back in there again. All right. But one day God, the Sunday school lesson said this morning, Brother McLeod, one day God delivered me. Yeah. Yeah. I remember how you keep it doing it, living in him. Yeah. Right. You hear what I said? Living in him, that's yeah. how I keep it doing yeah. it again. Yeah. I live in him. Paul said in Acts 17 and verse 28, in him I live and move and have my being. Let me say this to the younger generation. Judges chapter 2 and verse 10, you know what it says? And then there arose a generation that knew not God of what he had done for our forefathers. You know why? Because you won't come to him. And you know what? How I live here in church, you can see it in my house. So my children can't say they got their bad habits for me. And they can't say they got it for many reasons. Because we live what we preach. You don't have to say that, but it's true. Amen. So, what am I saying? Santa stay out of my house because he don't like what goes on in my house. Prayer goes on in my house. Reading the word goes on in my house. The nothing goes on in my house. So he don't like it because when he walk in there, he's walking on the anointed, and he can't stand to stay there because every room, every bed is anointed. He's uncomfortable when he comes back. Amen. And that's where it should be in all of our homes. He shouldn't be comfortable when he comes to your house. You don't have to tell him to not come. He won't come because he can't stand to be around you. All oh, glory to God. Oh, God, I'm just getting stuck. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Give your life yes. to God. Yes. He's going to be healed. Yes. Hey. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Oh. Listen. God, I want to heal you. Jesus said this. God, I want to deliver you. Jesus said this. God, I want to He said in John chapter 8 and verse 44, you need to read. You are your father, the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. For he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Why did you say that, Adam? Because Satan is lying to a lot of people, and number one, they're living a lie. Yeah, no, it's because Jesus said, if you're living in sin, you're living a lie. Because number one, you guess what? You don't belong to God. Jesus told these people, y'all daddy is Satan. Yeah. That's how come you act like it. Who am I not be Saturday? <laughs> but that's how come y'all acting like your daddy because that unrest that you are his child. Yeah. Ooh, what am I saying? I'm saying if you're a God child, you ought to act like it. Amen. But if you say the child, guess what? You're going to act like Satan, like you said, in the lust of the, your father, you would do. That's how come the people act the way they do, because Satan is their father. How do you know that I am? You tell them, Paul, because Paul said, Love you not to whom you yield yourself, certain obey his servant you are, to whom you obey, whether it's sin unto death or obedience unto righteousness. Paul said, whoever's dominating your life, that's your God. Amen. Amen. That's your God. Whoever you obey, that's your God. You know what? I'm praying, saints, and I hope y'all pray with me, that a sinner will not be able to be comfortable when they come in this door. Unless he come into the hand of sin, I surrender. 
That's the only reason they ought to be coming. But for to come and just enjoy, no, no. Because this Bible has got your number. Amen. And he's talking about you. Not you, but he's talking about all of us. Yeah. Listen. Here's what, uh, I'm, I'm giving you these scriptures for your own good. Here's what Paul said. He said, what I told you a while ago, that's in Romans chapter 6, verse 16. What Paul said in Ephesians chapter 2, and verse 2 and 3, when that time passed, you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now works in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in time past, in this is the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh in our mind, were by nature children of wrath. And then we go to verse 1 5, but it says, But God, come on, say that, but God, God. who is rich in mercy, where we love us, even we are dead in trespass, have quickened us together by grace you are saved. Amen. I used to, I had my time, we all have had our time in the lust of the flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh, but God delivered us from that. Ooh, glory Amen. to God. Amen. But say that this. A lot of people pick out part of a scripture and they don't say it all. So I'm going to share a scripture with you. Some people say, you have not because you have not. Let me, listen, that ain't the place for you if you want something. Let me sit and read that whole scripture. James chapter 4, verse 1 through 4. But when it's called war and fighting among you, come they not hence even of your lust that war in your members, you lust and have not. You kill and desire to have, which is not a thing. You fight war, yet you have not, because you ask not. You ask and receive not, because you ask a miss that you may consume it upon your lust. Your adulterers and adulterers, do you not that the friendship of this world is enemy with God, who tells us for to be a friend of this world is the enemy of God. Listen, you know what Paul said? You ask, you have not because you ask not. And when you ask, you ask to admit that you may consume it upon your own love. What that means, James? That means I'm asking, but I'm not going to change my lifestyle. You just want God to give you, just, and you're not going to make a change. God don't work like that. You just want me to bless you, but you want to keep on living the way you're living. Amen. It don't work like that. Somebody here today, you could be healed today if you would obey this word. Yeah. Amen. Obey this word, admit. That's what God told Adam. Adam, where are you? I heard that, that, that your voice in the garden and I was afraid and I hid myself. God knew why Adam was and he know where we are at all times. But what God was trying to do, so great what he's trying to do today is get the sinner to come face to face and acknowledge your sin because if you don't admit your sin, well, I cannot forgive you. Uh -huh. hmm. Oh, glory to God. This is, this, is good, this is good news for me. So then, God is saying this, and I'm, 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 I'm getting ready to bring it to a close. Now, I'm not going to say it as many times as I did before. But I'm getting ready to come to a close. But another strategy of the devil is false teachers. You hear what I just said? False teachers. He got something to turn on and shout and shout and cut it off in a minute. Right. <laughs> if fake crying don't mean nothing. Listen, Satan know how to send a very impressive teacher across the path of a believer. Right. We will never forget that Satan, who Satan is. And God told us in advance to be wary. I want this. I want you to turn your Bible to Matthew 24 and 24. Matthew 24 and 24. I'm, 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 I'm going to, I'm going to remain within this one verse where I, I read from you because there's too much to lose if I just go down the line. So when I get to a point of shutting off, I'll shut off. But I need to share this with you. This is what Jesus said. I said it's false teaching. But there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it was possible, they would do what? 
deceive the very elect. As he said, if it was possible, uh -huh. but it ain't. Uh -huh. Amen. It ain't. Now, if you back up in verse 11, he says that for men shall, men fall prophets shall come and shall deceive men. A lot of people are being deceived. And I want to say this to the young folk, and you may well hear from me, because, uh, because it's true. God don't go along with coding. He don't go along with shacking. He don't go along with none of that stuff. Amen. Let me say it again. God, that shacking, you think that God is going along with that? Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4, I'm trying to tell you, you've been deceived because it said, man is an animal in the bed and under the fire, but the whole one in the dirt is God will jerk. God don't go along with that stuff. If man is good enough for you to sleep with him, he ought to marry you. Oh, I know you don't want to share this, but I'm telling you, it's for your own good. You're living in danger. Amen. God could come any time. Yeah. And if he come and you ain't ready, guess where you're going? You know how y'all do this year? Yeah. You, I'm talking, y'all know what that means? You're going down. Yeah. Hmm. I want you to turn your Bible to another place. First Peter, Second Peter chapter 2. And just you think, if you if just in case, I want to say to them know that if the Lord will, I'll be back next Sunday and continue this. I want to let him know too long he's been sneaking in the church and how it just sit down and just in, just sit down with that. I want him to know that we're going to see him through, through this word when he come in here. Amen. This is what Peter said. 2 Peter chapter 2 and verse 1. Are you there? Amen. Listen. And there were false prophets among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who probably shall bring in damnable hearsay, even denying the Lord that brought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And men shall follow their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the will of truth shall be evil spoken of, and through covenants, and shall they with these words, Make merchandise out of you who dirtiness not of a long time linger. That means it is near. Lingers not, and their damnation slumbers not. Listen. I'm saying this here, as I did at the end of this, this lesson today. Verse 20. Oh, God. Yes. Verse 20. Listen to what this says. For if they had escaped the pollution of this world, the world, through the knowledge of who? Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. They are again entangled therein, overcome. The latter end shall be worse with them than the first. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of truth, the way of righteousness, than to, after they have known it, turn from the holy commandment delivered to them, but it happened unto them according to the true proverb, the dog returned to his own vomit and the side that was washed into her own vomit. It happened. People got that in, in the last round, it's going to be worse. You know why? Because you don't fall in sin through ignorance. You said after you had none on the way, and then go back into it. It's, it, and it's, it's it happened for a lot of people who are living in sin. But I, you know what? I pray that where you're living at now would be so uncomfortable. That man or that woman that you're laying with, I pray that your life would be so uncomfortable until you would have to say, I quit. I got I got a chance. Amen. Amen. The door of the church is open. I'm stopping. I want you to continue on that on the same lesson next week. I'm not going to go to verse 12. Amen. But I'm going to open the door of the church and I'm giving somebody a chance today. Today is the day to give your heart to Jesus. Are you here today? When you come, are you going to go back home the way you came? Are you here? God is waiting on you. Brother McLaurin this morning said to me that, that by God, those, those, I just said that God had turned his anger away from me. 
he's not angry at his but now he's, God, God said, I'm ready to turn my anger away from you if you will just come. Are you sure to do